Evening, I'm Tanya O'Rourke in for Carol tonight. The GE Aviation Plan in Evendale is stopping a major project 15 years in the making. So will that decision cost local jobs? Nine News reporter Bryce Hanslinger is live in the newsroom with why GE says ending plans to build an alternative jet engine will not cause layoffs. Bryce? Well, Clyde and Tanya, a spokesman for GE says it's stopping the plan because it didn't make business sense. The good news for local workers is that GE says because of increased commercial business, no jobs will be lost. If the project would have continued, GE would have been able to add 500 jobs. Those opportunities are now lost. 800 current employees will be moved to other projects. GE was attempting to self-fund the project to build alternative engines for the F-35 Joint Strike Fighter. The Department of Defense in both the Bush and Obama administrations had declined to include the alternative in its recent budgets, calling it unneeded spending. It was a huge project for GE, considering the F-35 will replace 90% of the fighter inventory for the U.S. military. Now, the House voted in February to cancel $450 million in funding for the alternative engine, calling the project, or saying the project, I should say, could be sacrificed to help rein in the federal deficit. GE has argued that the alternative would provide competition that would help save taxpayer money and add jobs. Tanya? All right, Bryce Onslinger live for us.